Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service and the National Television Network, NTN. I'm Primus Hutchinson. The issue is the Castro's Market Redevelopment Project and other related, related developments in the Castro's Basin. It forms part of the Castro's City Tourism Product. We financing secured from the World Bank towards the implementation of the OECS Regional Tourism Competitiveness Project, or RTCP. The project principally aims to improve selected tourist sites in Castries. In this regard, the government of St. Lucia has identified the Castries City Tourism Project as a priority for St. Lucia with targeted investment sites and activities aimed at making downtown Castries more pleasant and attractive to tourists as well as to St. Lucian residents. The first phase of the project was officially handed over to the Castries Constituency Council on Sunday, March 3rd, 2020. Construction of the $32 million project started in 2019 and is able to withstand wind speed up to a category of five hurricane. It is also quite interesting to note that the food market has been ranked number three in the world by the National Geographic ma magazine in a listing of the top 10 food markets in the world. The new facility is outfitted with 100 stalls to accommodate all the vendors and it appears that they have settle in quite comfortably. With me to provide the answers regarding the status of the project and plans to elevate it to a state-of-the-art state of the art facility is the Mayor of Castries, His Worship, Peter St. Francis. Welcome to Issues and Answers, Mr. Francis. Thank you, Mr. Bramas. Mr. Mayor. Um, let's, let's start us by, let us start off by um, perhaps you giving us a, uh, what is the status, status of the project currently? Well, um, as, you, as you already said, that we have finished the, the, the provision market. Um, right now, what we are doing is, is the marketing board, which we didn't have to go down, that we're in the process of doing. Um, we're now identify, we have identified a spot for the, the vendors around the marketing board. So as long as we finalize this, I mean, we have, we have, just, have just signed an MOU with the Ministry of Tourism, so that is going quickly. But you know, we, in the season that we are in there right now, that we have to put um, people first before project. <laughs> so, but that is on the card. So we are now in consultation with the, with the people that we are going to move them by, if you know the empty spot by Rikai there, we're going to relocate these people temporarily. Okay. Um, uh, that's how we're going, to, we're going to have them for the period of that um, That would be construction. next to the, the Grand Riviere. That's um, right, opposite the Grand Riviere, where, the, the, where that CDC, that CDC was broken down, okay. um, next to Rikai. So that's we're in the process of doing that now. As I said, we just signed an MOU with the tourism. So as soon as um, we are looking at, uh, we are working close to Mr. Poyot, who is the, the lead person on that. So right now, it's just a question of going to transfer the people there. We are going to do the infrastructure there quickly as possible. So we're hoping that probably in the next three weeks that to accommodate all the vendors, all the vendors around the marketing board. Uh, those around the market. market bond, yes. Okay, all right, yes. I see. But uh, how about those who are already, up? well, of course, they're in there, they wouldn't need to be no, no, they're, 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 they're. Um, The old market was constructed over 30, 130 years ago. Um, and uh, that's about the year 1891 or thereabout. Um, that's quite old for a market. So you're saying that this project is timely, would you agree? Yeah, yeah I, agree, I agree with that. I mean, incidentally, the good thing about the one, I mean, most of my, I mean, growing up was around the market. So I could tell you, I could tell you at the time, I mean, what it looked like, what mm -hmm. it and what. But they have improvement, but um, what we are doing now is really upgrading it. I mean, yeah. it has really served its time. Um, but in the, in the, 
in the redevelopment, I mean, the, the craft market is just about enhancing it, but will not be taking away its architecture of what it is looking like right now. As you, as you rightly said, that it has been ranked number three in the world by the National Geographic. Mm -hmm. Operations of the new market seems well organized, uh, Mayor, although some may argue that aesthetically it requires some slight touch, some slight touch. That's, that is what some people are saying. Are you still confronted with issues affecting vendors? Oh yes, I mean, uh, I mean, the most amazing thing is this, you know, while the vendors were vending on the little tarpaulin, uh, under the wind and on the rain and so on, now we have given them a first, uh, first class facility. This is the time they want to go out now, go on the road to sell. And that has been a challenge for us, I mean, we have, I mean and you know these days everything is politics. These are the, 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 the vendors the food, operating the, within the, within the, the, the yes, facility uh, itself. Yeah, yes, itself. The, the, now they live in the facility. Yes, to go now, out. And, and, and they have even. Why is that? Why? I don't know why. Now they have become very creative. They are now taking trolleys. Before we, we, we didn't have trolleys, but now because we have the, the food market, they have people with trolleys on the road selling. Because um, those who have went back to the sidewalk, but we, we're not tolerating that. So we are, we are, we are trying, but it's a challenge, a daily challenge. But have you ever, have you sat down with them to discuss why do they feel that it is necessary to? Well, you know, Saint Lucia, Saint Lucia, we have a m m mentality. I mean, you know, in the party do, baby do fuck about blown it. <laughs> so they believe they're in front, like they're on the road before you get to the market. Then you, you, they, you they'll buy. Because Saint Lucia's the other thing. We, Saint Lucia's, so we don't like to walk. So how is that working out? How? No, but we have been we, so far. We have been able to manage it. We have been able to manage. But as I said, and they have cooperate. They have cooperate. Yeah, they have cooperate. I mean, our city police have been have, have to get involved in it. Okay. But it's a daily challenge. Um, the Tourism Minister, Honorable Dominic Fede, uh, in a statement last year says that, and I quote, not only will this create a nexus between authentic St. Lucia, pro St. Lucia products and the export market, but visitors to our shores would be able to be part of the experience. Do you share that view as well? Authentic products? Yes, I, 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 I share that. Um, I share that and I'm, I'm, I'm a promoter of that. You see what is uh, what is happening. Like let's say for example, let's I mean we have the people in 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 Swazil who produce the basket, but not only that they, they have to produce, but they have to get themselves to castries to try to sell it. Now I feel that should not be. Um, they are the producers. They should be able to be, people should be able to buy the ba the basket, come and sell in in, in in thing. So they will have more time to produce and everything of that. And even I mean to upgrade the product. Um, we have certain, let's look at the, the condiments. We have people like Baron Food, we have people like Viking Traders. I mean, in that market, we should be able to display this. this. They should not be the one going to the market. We should have people who are, who are selling, uh, selling, not for them on their behalf, but I mean, basically buy the products. Like, let's say for fish, let's say for meat. Right there, we should be able to, the, the tourists come in, we're supposed to be able to sample these things. There. You know, you, get, you have the meat, you have the fish, season it, please, and so on. Mm -hmm. and so I, I agree totally with Minister Dominic Fili, as okay. far as, you know. Regarding the fish market and the meat market, fish market in particular, um, the, the, the odor, there's an uh, offensive sense that, that doesn't really... Uh, yeah, well, well, I mean, um, well, how would you be able to address that with the, with the new Well, structure? what we have, what we have, um, in the, well, we have started. Um, what we do, I, I mean, I had a, a meeting with the, with the, with the, with the, the vendors, the fishermen, the, and I was presently surprised. They said, "Look, no, give us the, the tools, and we will, we will, we will, we will do what we have to do." And it has so far it has been working fairly well. Although you know, Saint Lucia, believe the guy who took charge of it. They believe that he's getting paid. He's not getting paid by CCC. So we have given him the beans, we have given him the brooms, we have given him the hose, we have given him all the things. So if you pass now, you'll, you'll, you'll find that that's less of a challenge. You're not going to get the type of smell you, you're getting before because they have been doing it. When they use the fish guards, they go away, they, they, they dispose of it and everything. So they themselves, we have given them in charge of their own things. And which are so but far. It's part of the fish of folks. Uh, yes, they're the fish of uh, folks, yeah. All right, and, you know, but so far it has been, it has been working. Okay. But you know, again, you know, at any time somebody tries to take responsibility for something, they believe there is, there is something in it for you. <laughs> So, so right now, instead of cooperating with a guy, like, you uh, know, you, okay, you go and do it because you can pay for it. But uh, it's something we have to have another meeting to see and uh, progress and explain what's happening. But okay. so far, so good. But uh, when the project, when you finally start, the, the, the new project, when mm. it finally commence, um, would it have any, would it, how, 
do you believe it would impact the the operations of the, the, the market itself? I mean, the construction uh, going on no. and the perhaps dust yeah. and, and Yeah, so well, on. the only the only is that the bringing down of marketing board, right? that's, that's the first thing. Apart from the building, I don't think. Um, we take, we have taken all these things in consideration, like the desks and all these things. So, that, so we not have to shift the, like the the food the, the food um, market, no. Okay. But I say it's just the people are wrong. The marketing board it that we yes. this place for uh, just I hopefully for about between six to a year. I'm not sure if you addressed that earlier. Um, that you have had discussion with them and yes. they have agreed that yes, they have they have agreed to that. They agree. Incidentally, we are, we are going by the old fire station where you find out yes. we had the vendors before but we have since tried to re, re, we have seen shelf that and going by as I said by Rick and Jeremy Street Day to have them there. But we have we have got things and so on. We have the I mean the as you see the World Bank is involved in it and you know if you're moving people, the compensation okay. and all these things. So all these things have been taken. There's a been, canal nearby um that wouldn't have any by effect. I mean on thing as well? Je, on the other side. I mean the the side closer mm. to the to the to the Grand Yeah, that, no, but we are on the other side. We are on the oh, other side. Yeah, we are on the other side. By ah. where the, the, the block GS was. Which was broken. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, all right, that, that's understandable. Where we have these little huts. Yeah. Right in front of there. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Mr. Mayor, the next component of phase one, what it entails? How is the. Um, let's look at this first. Um, what it entails? Can you go through Yeah, well, we are the, the other stage, we, we have. Um, now the marketing board will be rebuilt. Um, they will be the ones controlling the building. So, okay. that so the new project, the marketing board, but is it's part, part of, of the it. It's part of the new project. Okay. But they've still been controlling of the of that section of it. Okay. Okay. But, so, but we are, we are looking um, um, the box pack situation. That's what we're going to do. So we'll have an upper level and a lower level, um, which will comprise both of them between five nine square feet, five thousand nine hundred square feet. Uh, we are going to have um, convenience stores in, down in, the, in the first level. Um, about 16 of them will have convenience stores. We'll have the fish vendors. We'll have the, the meat vendors, right? We'll have toilet facilities. Well, you know, the usual electrical thing mm -hmm. and so on, closets and so on. The second, the, the, the first level will be bars and shops and so on. And you will also have a, a tower so tourists could go and look and so on. So um, one of the things that I mean we have been missing in in the cash we per se is that you know you, are, you I mean well you're a married man so I can't tell you that. I mean you know better friends you say you want to take your oh, wife. How did you arrive at that? You, well, you uh, well I will, I'll apologize if I'm wrong. <laughs> 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 but okay. I mean don't look at it like right now you might you know tell someone like look we want to go have a, a lunch and so on. There's no way, I'm not saying they don't have restaurants and they're not up to the start, but I mean the, the, the setting. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not like you say you have somebody from the bank and say, well, you know, somebody from that and say, can, I, can, we have a lunch, can we have lunch today and so on, go and, and get a setting and so on. I mean, we don't have that. So we are lacking that dinner and lunch situation in, in St. Louis, like at night, you mm -hmm. have to go up north to really have, and say, you know, the, the traffic situation, you know, the length of time. But, but for one time, it take one hour to reach the north. The person have to report home in, in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, true. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. And bring the nightlife back to castries mm -hmm. and the time instead of you. So everybody will be able to confine themselves within. So the, we're looking forward to nighttime activities yes, as well. Yeah, because you'll, have, you'll, have, you'll be able to the same way say, well, let me go up, up north and have dinner and so on. You'll be right there in town. You're right there and you'll be able to have your, your thing. We also, in that, we'll still maintain. The, the solution right now, the country and western, which okay, is so air condition and so on. You're hoping to bring back the... Yeah, then, yeah, we, we, oh, we, we how have... How was it called? How was it called? Um, the the Nashville? Nashville. Yeah, Nashville, Nashville Palace. Palace, <laughs> you know. So we so have we, that. So we, we, all these things will be maintained and so on, um, air condition, the more yeah. relaxing and so on. Even though, I mean, uh, as you said, I mean, the, the, like the, we have a tourist boat tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, these people with tourists could go up there, look at over the harbor, have the tower, look there, enjoy themselves, and so on. So, yeah. we, as we said, as I said, Minister, he described it perfectly. Yeah. But there was a problem with the roofing. Um, is, is that is that? No, well, that, will, that itself will be, will be taken care of. I oh. mean, it will, with the new design and so on, obviously, you have to redo the roof. Okay. I, I, you may have touched on the financing of the project. Yeah. Um, how, how, 
how soon do, you, do we expect to see? Uh, no, but well, well, the, the, the good thing about it is that, um, Mr. Mayor, I've just been <laughs> been informed that we need to take a short break. Okay. Uh, we are uh, we uh, moving too fast. Is the, is <laughs> the mayor of Cassis, His Worship uh, Peter St. Francis? Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Oi, you realize you step on my toe? Well, do something about it. Uh. Gasai busting them and hold on. If somebody try to cross you, Hold and if Martin start to take you, Hold no need for war or violence, cause the police there to help you. Hold if a trouble start in this session, alright, no need for aggression. Hold we don't want no violence in the place. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Control your temper, right. respect each other. Don't let no trouble escalate, cause you know better. Control your temper, respect each other. Don't let no trouble escalate, cause you know better. Control your temper. A message from Mission Boys, Studio 758, Acid Creations, and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Welcome back. This is Issues and Answers, and we are discussing the Castro's Market Redevelopment Project with the Mayor, His Worship Peter St. Francis. Mr. Mayor, um, we were talking about the financing of the, 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 the project. Um, how is that going? Well, you know, the good thing about that project is that the money is there waiting for us. Is, is the money is, is it's already available. So it's just that we are the one taking our time now to dispose the money. But it's, it's not a question of sourcing the money. The money is there. And we, we talk and the, about the, only, the only problem I have is yes. that, that I'm not, we are not moving fast enough because my, it, my, that money might be relocate, reallocated. So <laughs> what is causing the... the no, it's just a question of the... I mean, as you know, the COVID has, has, has put us behind a long way. Um, right now we are in, in election time, and as I said, you know, people are telling. But the project will kick off sometime this year. No, well, the first is going. To, we, incidentally, we were supposed to start the, the the second phase about three weeks ago. Although we had to do the marketing board, we done and uh, relocate the people. So as I said, I have signed an MOU mm -hmm. um, to re relocate the people. And uh, so the, 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 the money, the, the, the finance is there. Well, we didn't talk about the duration. How long will it take for I, completion? I look at, we're, looking, we're looking at um, what we have today is about probably a, a year minimum. A year. Okay, all right. Um, you touched on it uh, uh, earlier on, the vending outside the cash market. Um, now that you have placed, well, some people say you've placed a ban. I, I'm not sure you will have to explain that. Um, I placed a what? A ban on 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 out the vending of, of oh. the vending the out vending outside of the yeah. the market um, so on. The, um, have you seen an improvement? The, the card vendors. Um, how has the CCC assisted those displaced? Well, basically, what has happened in the the, 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 the the provision market is that we are committed for every vendor that was selling originally, all vendors. So they have. Uh, so what is happening now? If you pass on any other any given day, you might say about a minimum of 25, 44 stalls are empty, and these are the people that is looking for space around Gaspers to sell. These are the people we took we took out from the sidewalks. They now believe that you know it takes people too long to get inside the market, mm -hmm. and they don't expect they don't they, they don't, do not realize that is the presentation of your goods. Mm -hmm. How people look at you, they'll come and buy from it. They, as I said, if they're in front, they believe they'll get the sale. No, Mr. Mayor, some element in the fact that um, they, do, they are not part of the the, the vendors who are um, occupying the the, the cash mm -hmm. market, and that is how they make their living. They have a little cat moving around, to, and they. Deal. Um, no, perhaps you'll be surprised <laughs> that the, all the cats you see outside of the, the, the of selling on the road yeah. are vendors within the market who are sending people outside. So they have the agents. They have the agents. All of them. That are, they're, they're just every single one of them. It's not any a new a new provision cell that is coming down. Every young guy, young girl, whoever you see there, even grown they're up, they're connected see, to someone in within the within the the, the market. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> so that's what is going on. So it's not people that are looking for new. It's not new vendors we have. It's not people looking for for space, right? The only thing we do on a Saturday and a, uh, on a Friday and a Saturday, we know that people come island wide from island. Oh, yeah, know, all, the, all over the uh, all over yeah. the island. So we yeah. we we relax it on a Friday and so. So whatever little space you get within, yeah. apart from Bridge Street, and the Boulevard. Whatever little space, wherever you you could get your space, mm. you you allowed to 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 vent. It's not a 
vaccine issue as such is not that challenging. Uh, no, no, no. And like on Fridays, we realize that because we understand that even in the, in the, in the, in the provision market, we can accommodate everybody. Yeah. Okay. So they'll tell you on Fridays and Saturdays, they have a free, they have free will. They, wherever they, they, they could vent, they, they could vent. Now let's talk a little bit about other plans for the city. Of, uh, you spoke glowingly about plans for the city of Castries, the, the, uh, the um, boulevard and other areas and so on. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, we're not a boulevard. I mean, to to to, to really upgrade it, um, we just rise it. Um, we're looking also. I mean, uh, what we're doing there, like you know, you see, we have coffee shops. We have uh, that you could be walk. People could come in again. It's touristic related. I mean, and old, uh, locals. So you could sit there. You could have a thing and so on. Walk around and so on. We are looking. We are probably have a little. Entertainment theater, people could come and, and thing and so on. So that that is for the boulevard. Well, the square, as you know, where we have started the first piece in the square, removing the walls and things. Because and imagine we have not done anything on the square yet, and people are quite satisfied with what they are looking at. The mere fact that is now open and so on. But I mean, we have we have monuments coming there. We have to re relocate the the, the 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 fountain and all these things. So there's a lot of a lot of plans for 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 the, for the square. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, but my one reason I told the, 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 the PM that whether the, the, the old cinema was there that burnt, mm -hmm. I think it should require that. I mean, we, have to, we want to give Cassie, let Cassie's breathe. Yeah, and the old um, Ministry of Education. Education. Well, that's supposed to be coming down. So when you, you're in the boulevard, I mean, you could actually see right through the church and so on. I know that the government has plans for breaking up, well, from the print tree, we realize now the print tree that just minimal work is in, they have been re relocated. We look at even parliament, they look at even the old courthouse. So all these things, suppose, you know, so instead of having the, the parking by, on the square, we're now going to be that between Library Street and Pena Street. So we have all these, all these plans we're looking at. Well, you know that we, we are looking at the redevelopment of also of the, of the, the, the wharf. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Well, well, that is not my that is not my project. That's government property. So I, I can't elaborate too much on that. But, but you, that have a, you have a say in any say at all? Well, well, the say, yeah. Well, in America, they, they, I mean, I'll be informed duly that is being done. We and we'll be part of the of the, of the thing. I know the. But you'll not use your influence in any way. You. you, you uh, uh, no, well, you, you yeah, of course, of course, of course, you know, knowing me, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we are looking at, we, if you realize that it's a, it's a wild that I've cleaned Bannon, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, there's a, there's a, a I mean, quite a, a wild Bannon look now, I mean, mm -hmm. compare when it's this and so on. Um, the other thing that I'm, I'm very happy about, that you, you don't look at Bannon now and see all this plastic I mean, on any given day, you look at Bannon, it's like, far less if it's really. Yeah, that, that you mentioned, now that you mentioned the expansion of castles, that has been banded for quite a while now, yeah. moving all the way into. Yes. Uh, so, um, it's been years and years. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. you, realize that, but you realize that I'm not taking the credit for myself, but you realize that I'm pushing. If you realize all through Bannon going right down, that have been, been clean, we have been looking again. We are looking at um, for tourism. We are looking for a jetty. So, in other words, again, we want to develop banan. So, when the like they say the cruise ship coming tomorrow, there, eh, there are people who don't want to go that far. Take a little ferry, go across to banan. You have restaurants, you have everything there, mm -hmm. and so on. So, all that is in, in the. How would that work with the Fuasho community aesthetically? And, uh, well, I know uh, it's a while. Um, even the fishermen there that uh, said John wanted to relocate them to. Tapion, I mean, and so on. So we, we'll be working with the people. They are aware of what you're doing. We'll be working with them. I mean, we can't just displace people that just, you come there, fall in there and say, look, move to that. We're going to work with them. But the only good thing about Bannon, Bannon area there, especially by the, the, the sea, you don't have many people living there. But if you look about if you have six yeah. of, or seven people and so on. And I'm one of the believers that, you know, you, yes, you know, the people are there and you have to give them something, an incentive. And, you only tell me, okay, the, somebody living in Bannon, who now pays no electricity, who now pays for no water, who pays no rent, and you tell him, okay, I'm going to relocate you, but I'll give you a house that worth for hundred fifty thousand dollars. But that resident now has to look, even though it's a hundred, two hundred dollars a month to pay. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> that's not improvement. These are people who, they might be able to, okay, they pay for five years, 
and they can't afford to pay again. They, that's five years' money that they have lost. I think if you could, you give the person the life, whether it's life, lifelong enjoyment of the of the home, you just could move them to the children and so on, move on. But you can't tell somebody moving them from paying nothing to something, and you say you have done something for them. And that's as far as I concerned. So people like well, let's get away, let's look at them, give them a house. It doesn't matter what it was. But at the end of the day, you're there, your lifetime, you live, your children comes and so on. And think at least, you know, that's improvement and not poverty. Yeah, you might have a, you might have a house, you might have a wall house, but you're in poverty. I think that's, that, uh, that will be well accepted, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Mayor, I wouldn't let you live here without you saying a little in all for our vendors. You know? um, well, someone who is a vendor, I was so, si vous mangez bien, vous gardez ça, vous avez fait, vous pouvez vendre tout le monde. Si tout le monde a une place, si vous avez une place qui est 25 ans, vous ne pouvez pas avoir une chemin, vous ne pouvez pas avoir une place. Si vous avez une place, vous ne pouvez pas avoir une place. Ça a une place, ça a une place, ça a une place. C'est une compétition. Compétition. Ce n'est pas une compétition. Nous, 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 ça peut improve sa autre affaire. Et puis, nous, 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 Yes, well, yes, so that is an advanced stage right now. But again, I'm saying that everything in the, in the election and so on has been this. Um, before we go in our parking terminals, that we have since that we call the smart, smart parking. Um, presently, we are only waiting for the SI to, for us to start putting these 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 meters. What will happen now is um, we have identified certain streets, so Bridge Street. We have identified. Um, the boulevard, we have Miko Street, Brazil Street, Coral Street, we have all the streets, you know, I mean, to name a few. So what you call it now is smart parking. So you'll be able to see anywhere. If you're coming from library, you come to Casuis, you know, well, look, I'm coming for two hours and so on. You could just go to your phone, look and see what the space that is available. Book your, your, book your space, pay for it, and your space you your spot, your your spot is there just waiting. waiting for you. So that is what, I mean, everything, I mean, the, the, the operators are already here, they have already opened the office. So we are only the SI, but again, I mean, the, the election fever is keeping us behind. Yeah. Mr. Mayor, before we end, um, and we need to end any time now, I think that I'm very concerned about the mentally challenged um, individuals walking around the city. Um, recently, I was attacked, um, and other people have been attacked, seriously, that is. How do you tend to address this, Mr. Mayor? Well, you see, um, Prime Minister Alton, seriously, and I've complained about these things over and over. We have agencies in, in this country who are empowered by law to take care of certain things in this country, like, you know, like in the, in the environment and so on. We, I mean, the office of the mayor is not qualified. I mean, right now we have, I mean, we have brought, we have brought in the city police. We could really restrain this, try to restrain, but we're not even qualified to handle these people. So I've been always clamoring for the agencies that are empowered, don't have the power, that have the law on their side, that we'll work with them. I mean, the, the, I, mean I know the Royal Police Police is doing their best too. Yeah. We'll work, the city police will work with them to say so. But we need the people, the, the people, the, the expert people that has the ex experience and, the, and the, the law behind them too, for us to get together and, and so on. And because that is why I've gotten a reputation. Like, you know, I'm a Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger is that... You don't have a tanto with you? Exactly. Uh, I, I don't have a Not even a tanto have you know, I thought Harlan said it was your tanto. No, you took all. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rea, yeah, we need to end. Uh, we, we've come to the end of our discussion. Thank you so very much. Yeah.
for being there with us. We were discussing the Castro's Market Re Redevelopment Project with the Mayor of Castro's Worship, uh, Peterson Francis. This has been Issues and Answers. I'm Primus Hutchinson. Thank you for being here. Mr. Mayor. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> 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 <laughs>